Okay, well, if it seems a little dark in here, that's because we're in an x-ray lab and we're gonna talk, you know what, I'll just show you. I had to write it down because I knew I wouldn't say it right. Radiologic technology, and we're talking to Tammy Cox and you're the program director, is that correct? That is correct, yep. Okay, so tell me a little bit about this. If I mean, everybody knows what an x-ray is, they think, but tell me a little bit about what students do in, in this area. So students will learn anatomy and positioning on patients and we learn that out here at Parkland first and then we practice on each other. We actually don't take x-rays on each other but we um, do a form of simulation where we get all the way up to the point of positioning the patient prior to taking an exposure and then we don't take the exposure. Sure. Um, tell me about what kind of, like this I assume there's a lot of different elements involved in x-ray technology. What kind of classes would you take before you start focusing on this? Well, pretty much every course that's in um, our degree can be taken at the same time that you take x-ray courses. But if you're waiting to get into the program um, or want to kind of jump ahead and take some courses prior to getting admitted, some of those courses might be anatomy and physiology one and two. Um, a communication course, interpersonal communications is a really good course to take, and medical terminology. Okay. Um what kind of students excel at this? Uh, is there a certain personality trait? I mean, I guess patience is probably one, but what kind of patient students do you find do really well at this kind of work? Students that do really well are students that are great communicators. People that can talk to the patient, get a good history, and get the patient to go into a position that we need them to do. Um, Students that are detail-oriented are very good and excel very well, um, and also students that have the ability to think outside the box, because we do a lot of critical thinking in radiology. Yeah, uh, kind of tell me about that. What, what kind of things, when they're doing their job, what kind of things will they be doing that they have to do all these things together? So critical thinking, if you have a patient that comes in and they have a broken bone or they have something that's dislocated they might not necessarily be able to get into the position that we need them to do based on limited range of motion so if they have an open fracture they're not going to be able to move the limb like someone who just has pain so we have to do certain things to be able to get the same types of images for the radiologist to read um, to get a diagnosis but we might have to do um, what we call a shoot through, which is where we um, don't move the patient, we move the x-ray tube and our detector around the patient because the patient has that limited range of motion. Okay, so when you're doing this, what, I know it's probably all over the course, but what would a typical day be like for somebody who does this? Every day is going to be different, and it depends on where you do your clinical sites. So we do um, a combination of both hospital sites, which would be more inpatients, um, people that are in hospital rooms, trauma situations, and then we also send our students through clinical situations where it's more of like an outpatient setting. Patients may be gone to the doctor, they requested an x-ray, patient walks in, gets her x-ray, and then leaves for the day. So you're going to see a variety of different things based on whether you're inpatient or outpatient. Right. Um, what kind of schooling are they looking at? Is this a two-year program? or is it Yes. It is a two-year program. You do graduate with an associate's degree in applied science in radiologic technology. Okay, once they get through with the two-year program, is this the kind of thing where they can continue their education? Yes, absolutely. We actually promote continuing education in radiology. Um, there are several different advanced modalities that you could go into. Um, there's CT, which is commuted tomography, um, MRI, sonography, radiation therapy. Those are just a, a short list of advanced modalities that you can go into. Our program has CT courses built into it, so a lot of our students do further their education in CT. Um, CT and diagnostic imaging go hand in hand. So if you have a patient that's in a trauma, they're gonna go through CT, and it's nice if you have the ability to be able to do both of those. Sure, and what everybody wants to know, what, I'm, I'm assuming this is a fairly great job to have uh, payment wise. Yes. 
So the national average for radiologic technology starts at about 59,000. Um, so that's the national average. If you have an advanced modality like CT, MRI, sonography, that's just going to add to your base pay. And probably no trouble getting a job, I'm guessing. Absolutely. We have 100% job placement. We've had 100% job placement since 2012. Um, right now, we have students in all sorts of settings, outpatient, inpatient. OK, and so obviously, you can get a job around here. Um, if you move, if you decide you want to move to another state, I'm sure you may have to license again, but you can still get a job pretty much anywhere in this country. Absolutely. So you, once you're done with our program, you will sit for a national certification exam, and it's a 200 question test, but it is a national test. So you can take the test, and you could potentially work in any of the 50 states in the United States. Okay, and last question, when you go out into the public or you go to the doctor's office or what, when you see your students, how do you feel about them? I mean, are you proud that, like, man, we have so many students doing this, this is a great Absolutely. feeling? Absolutely. We have a really good reputation with our students being well prepared um, right after graduation. So as soon as they graduate, they know um, what they're doing, they know how to perform the exam, and they do it well. So it does make me very proud.